today I'm going to talk to you about my competition belt setup for USPSA, which is United States Practical Shooting Association. Uh, I shoot a pistol, so I'll be showing you what my setup is for that. I just wanted to go over the equipment I run, the attachments, the holster, stuff like that. If you subscribe to my videos, thank you. I appreciate it. If you don't, please subscribe to me. I love all the comments, all the questions that you guys have. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this video or if there's content you want to see or whatever, just leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, I usually try to go through and I usually try to answer most of the questions. So definitely leave a question and I will get to it. Also, the more comments, the more likes you not only leave on my channel, but all the other gun pages definitely helps get uh, that Second Amendment out there and keeping that strong and supporting the 2A community. So definitely do that as well. First, I'm going to start off with my belt. So this is a Safari Land belt. You can see that it is a double belt. You have the inner belt. This goes through your actual pant loops. And then it has the hook and loop on the inside just to really secure it to the outside of the belt. For the holster, I have a drop holster here. This is made by Springer Precision. It is customized for me. As you can see, it has my unicorn on there. It has my purple, which I obviously love. And the holster is Red Hill Tactical. So what's really cool about this drop is one, not only can I access my gun quicker because it's a little bit lower, but it has this really nifty quick attachment right here. So all I have to do is unscrew this right here. And it slides up. You can see how that looks right there. So this is kind of handy. Um, personally for me, when it comes to three gun, if there's a stage where I don't actually need my pistol or I have to shoot prone and the holster gets in the way, I can actually just remove it without taking everything apart. Um, it also works if you have multiple guns that you want to switch, but you don't want to switch the belt. So you can have a different holster and use different guns and it still attaches to your drop set. The Red Hill Tactical is a double walled kydex and it has these retention screws here. So in between stages or again with three gun, if I'm actually running and gunning, um, my gun can get, the retention can get tightened down so my gun doesn't flop out, obviously. With the holster attachments, it's also the same concept with the Quick Connects by Springer Precision. As you can see here, I actually have these attachments that don't have a holster hooked to them right now. They're actually for AR magazine pouches. So what you wanna do is when you set up your belt, you just kinda wanna figure out where your holster and your magazine pouches and your placement is gonna be. And that's when you actually have to assemble them. So they do come in kits. They have all these little screws with Allen wrenches. And you pretty much just place it on, on the Safari Land belt. And what's also nice too, is you can get almost any position you want with your magazine pouches, because as you can see, this goes on the belt here. You can put it this way. You can put it this way at the end looks like that. So again, with the magazine pouches, all you have to do is undo this screw right here. And it just slides off. And so that's what it looks like. and then just tighten it up again. Also from Springer Precision, I have all my mag bases. So you can see they're numbered, they're engraved with my fancy little unicorn. And it goes like 
this. Also with the Red Hill Tactical mag pouches is it does have this retention screw here as well. It's not a quick retention screw just because you're probably not going to be lo quickly loosening and tightening your retention from stage to stage. So um, I just really tighten them down pretty well so they don't jump out when I'm running from stage to stage. Before we handle any firearm, we make sure it's unloaded. As you can see, unloaded. Yes, okay. It's a little bit difficult holding it like this. So again, the retention screws are very tight. Not coming out of there. Loosen them up a little bit. And it pulls right out. Show you close up of how it looks when it's on. I have my double layer in here, my magazine pouches. So we'll tighten down as much as I can. Loosen these up. In USPSA, I shoot carry optics, uh, which is pretty much a, what they call production gun with an optic on it. So uh, in carry optics division, you are allowed to run uh, maximum capacity magazines, but they do have to fit in a certain measurement and it has to be a certain weight. And this is all governed by the USPSA uh, rule book. So I shoot a SIG P320, it's a Legion. Again, work is done by Springer Precision shooting the SIG Romeo Max. And also a nice trigger job done. Reset. Nice, huh? Well, just gorgeous. So I just came back from the Area 1 USPSA match down in Paul Bunyan. Uh, I actually worked the match, and so I shot the first two days and then just worked uh, ROing and running shooters uh, the next three days. I did win a couple trophies, even though my practice has been severely lacking. Uh, if you guys do follow me on Instagram and um, some other social media and of course YouTube, you kind of know that this month I was, um, I did a great event with Brunel's, which I will have a video up of them soon. And I also did bow fishing down at Buck Chasers with the Gun Girls. Uh, so the first one that I got is in carry optics, which is my division, and I got fourth class B, which is my classification. And the second one I got is third lady, all, uh, third lady carry optics. Thanks for watching guys. And again, if you like the video, definitely leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. Also check out the other gun girls. Uh, they're on my channel list as well. Uh, give them a subscribe, give them a comment, and I will see you next time.